Hi guys, welcome to another QGIS tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about projections and how to get your data to to display in the projection you want. So we're going to be working with the shape file of the United States today. This is just the contiguous United States, so the lower 48, excluding so it excludes Alaska and Hawaii. Um, and we're just going to go through some different ways to make this projection display differently and to change projections in QGIS because it's going to be something super important um, when you're working with displaying data or even analyzing data uh, to get their different projections. All right, so the first thing, um, we're going to go over where to find the projection information. So if I double click on this layer or if I right click and go to properties, this will bring up the information here. So if I go to the source tab, it tells me what the coordinates reference system is or the projection. And this one is EPSG 4269 or NAD 83, the North American Datum of 1983. And this is a geographic coordinate system. And what that means is that the coordinates are displayed in degrees. And so if I go, let's take a look here. If I go to information here, um, we can take a look at this. So here's my coordinate reference system. Here's the extent and the unit is degrees, okay? And so that's where I can get some more of that information. Now let's go take a look here at my project settings. And we can check out the project properties first of all. Give it just a second to load up here. So here we go. And so here it gives me the coordinate reference system. So I have NAD83, EPSG4269. Right, and so that's the one that is currently being used in my project. Now if I change this, it's going to change the way things are displayed. Let's go ahead and give this a try. So if I click on this, EPSG 5070, this is a projected coordinate system and it's actually going to be in meters. And so this is going to change the way things look. So if I click here, you can see that this extent um, is different, right? So that we can have this NAD83, its extent is for the whole all of North America, the Conus Albers is just for the contiguous United States. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. And you're going to see a shift. So you see that? So it didn't actually change um, the coordinate system my data are in. You can still see that this is still the EPSG 4269 and that 83 but it changed the overall project coordinate reference system, which changed the way those data were displayed. So let's go back to my project properties, and let's go back to, oh, let's just search this here, NAD83, 4269 and we'll click OK and that'll bring it back to what it was before okay so that's one way you can change it that doesn't actually change the data that just changes the way the data are displayed uh, in your map just zoom back to the full extent so the other way that you can do this and that's to actually change your data and if I go right click here and I do save as or I do export save features as, I can now save this with the new coordinate reference system. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Temp folder, and we'll name this CONUS5070. And so I'm going to save this um, to the CONUS Albers projection. Or sorry, to the CONUS NAT83, and so I'm going to put the EPSG number in there. And here, I'm going to select EPSG5070. And if you don't know which one you want, you can always come and search for it here. So if you like know the um, EPSG code, you can type it in there. 
Uh, if you know the name, you can type in Conus Albers here. Click on that. Click OK. We've got my file name. I've got that. And we can just leave the rest of this default. We'll add the save file to the map and we'll click OK. And this might take just a second to load it up. It's working on it. Working on it, working on it. All right, so you can see that even though um, I changed this to, to the EPSG 5070, yeah, so even though it's displayed in 5070, we're still seeing this in our regular EPSG, uh, the 4269, and that's because the project is in that. So if we displayed these in two different projections, they wouldn't line up like they do. But see, right now they line up. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm just gonna start a brand new project um, which will clear all the data about the projection and I'm going to add the CONUS 5070 in first and you'll see that it displays in 5070. So let's go ahead and click new project, we'll discard this, and I'm going to come into my browser I'm going to add CONUS 5070 and so you can see that it now displays in 5070 in the CONUS Albers projection. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to add in just the regular CONUS. And if I add that in, it's also going to display in the CONUS Albers or EPSG 5070. Right. And so and I'll show you why that is. It's because the project, if we go to properties, see this is in CONUS Albers. And the reason it does that, it's going to, the project settings so of the project coordinate reference system is going to display uh, as the first layer that's added in and it's going to transform everything on the fly to line up with that layer. Okay, so this is just something to be aware of as you're trying to get data to look the way you want um, and, and show those things. And so you can see that this projection here is going to show less distortion for the contiguous United States um, than the NAT83 projection that we started out with. And as I showed you before, I can always go back to Project Properties, and if I want these data to be displayed, um, with NAT83, I can just click on this and click OK, and they're displayed in NAT83. Okay, so that's just quickly how you can work with projections and coordinate reference systems uh, in QGIS. It's kind of a little tedious detail, but it's really important detail um, for making sure your data line up and, and making sure when you're displaying your data that you have the projection displayed that you want because you can tell that different distortions are going to be inherent for different projections. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. And if you have other questions, please let me know. I'm happy to answer them and have a great day.